Over the weekend, more than 100 Palestinians were injured at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque. According to reports, Israeli police forcibly entered before dawn Friday as thousands were gathered for worship. The Palestinian Red Cross said Israeli forces blocked the arrival of ambulances and paramedics to the mosque, while Palestinian media said dozens of injured worshippers remained inside the mosque. Now, that video that we're showing right there, to me, very disturbing. What it represented it, like something just extra barbaric in the, the kind of casualness of it. You see this police officer. We can we can roll that again if we want. We could, you see the police officer kind of just casually rolling up on this woman and not breaking stride as he swings the club at her arm. Uh, we later learned that she did suffer a broken arm. Oof. Those those, the, those billy clubs deliver a se a second shock because they are much denser and harder than they look. Like you, you, you think it, it looks like it's going to hurt, but then when it hits you, and I got hit by one of these things once, it hurts two or three times more than you thought it would. You're like, whoa. And so it, it, it like adds to the, shock, to the shock. What is she doing? She's just standing there with her, with her phone in her hand. Gets her, gets her arm broken. So these, so it's so Friday, Friday morning, uh, you had... Uh, and, and there and there are uh, differences in how it's how the kind of uh, the eruption of violence is is described from the Israeli and the Palestinian side. The Israeli side uh, says that there were you know hundreds or thousands of worshippers early Friday morning, and they started throwing rocks. Uh, the, the Palestinians say that there were uh, thousands of Palestinians there to worship and also to protect the mosque because there had been all sorts of uh, rumors that kind of hardline Israelis were going to kind of were going to mob their way into into the mosque on on Friday, and and so and so there were a bunch of riot police there, and then tensions between the crowd and the and the worshippers spilled out as the Israeli police kind of stormed into the into the mosque. You know, this comes. There's all sorts of violence going on now, but you know, there've been a number of um, killing. You know. Uh, uh, P Palestinians connected to the Islamic State have killed, you know, a handful of is Israelis over the last several weeks and months. The is Israelis then raided the West Bank in what looked to be collective punishment, and killed more than 15 people in response to those killings. And so tensions were already high, uh, and this is this is where it has led at this point. Oh, horrible. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I mean, it's that footage is really. Really awful. I mean, they're attacking people with clubs. Yeah, and it's like provoked. Well, maybe I mean yeah. they'll say they were provoked, I guess, but not in that video. Right, certainly, not, certainly not by that woman. That woman, right. right? And right, and the the that's what that's what makes that particular image to me so disturbing is that you just see that that was by no means. It, do, it does not appear that that's the first time that that soldier has done something like that. It just it just felt so casual and so natural that this is just this is just what we do. We're just gonna just gonna roll just gonna roll around here just swinging swinging clubs. Uh, and, and and when you see it unfolding in these places that you know are revered as sacred, it just it just kind of adds an extra layer to it. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's yeah. it's a, a hard problem. To sort, I mean, this just goes back to, yeah. I mean, what do you, both sides have, a, there's been so much violence committed by both sides against each other going back so long that it's impossible to tease out the, well, you did this because we did this, but we did this because you did this, but you did this because it, there's so much going back for so long that they can't, you can't sort out like who's at fault or who started it. I mean, obviously police beating unarmed people at a place of worship is 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 the the fault is pretty clear <laughs> in that narrow example right. but they're doing it because there actually were people who you know committed violence and the, well they did it because it's yeah. how do you sort it out how do you bring and the, <laughs> the good news if there is any is that it, it, things have calmed down right over the last several Didn't days spiral into greater right. violence the last time that there were there have. was unrest in Jerusalem it led to this 11-day bombing in May of Gaza and so we, that hasn't happened yet. So let's yeah. hope that that doesn't, yeah. that continues to not happen. I mean, but th this, is, this has been going on a thousand years. I mean, in, 
Yeah. <laughs> not, not, a lot, not a lot of hope will be solved anytime soon, is what I'm saying, which is yeah. unfortunate. But, um, but yeah, no, very bad. And uh, so what, what do they, you know, what do they, do they even, do, does the Israeli government have to put out a statement saying why they hit that specific person with a club or what? I don't think so. They'll just say, no. Yeah, I don't think so. I, uh, I mean, the, the Israeli happen. government's argument has been that it was provoked by people throwing stones, people throwing rocks. And that, uh, and that there were that these were rioters, that needed to be you know and there was a riot that that needed to be quelled, I, and I, I don't I, they, yeah it doesn't feel like the Israeli government feels under a lot of pressure to justify its, its you know its behavior. Well, we'll have more rising right after this. <laughs>